In Africa, there is a lack of adequate facilities, resources, and specialized surgical doctors who take care of orthopedic conditions. Due to this, only a few privileged families are able to afford the cost of receiving orthopedic care for their wards in Europe and America. But today, Africa Report team met with a star surgeon whose surgical intervention programs through Focus Hospital has helped bring hope and quality health care to the pediatric population in Africa. Focus is really a dream that I've had ever since I left this country, is to study medicine and bring home medical care in the area that I will be proficient in, and that is orthopedics. So Focus Orthopedic Hospital stands for the foundation of orthopedics and complex spine. And it is uh, to provide comprehensive state-of-the-art orthopedic and spine care to the Ghanaian population and beyond Ghana. So we're here to care for patients, educate the local, train them, and develop capacity. FOCUS is a non-profit organization which is situated in Pantan, Accra, and it has a 50-bed facility with an ultra-modern x-ray center, state-of-the-art laboratory, pharmacy, ultra-modern theater suites, among others, and it is the first of its kind in Africa. To establish a first-class orthopedic hospital is very expensive when it comes to the resources that you need, the uh, equipment, the supplies, a spine operation for crooked back scoliosis in New York could cost as much as two, three, even five hundred thousand dollars. So and you can't charge the same here. So to make it affordable, we have to rely on donor support. So we've raised about close to twelve million dollars to build the place and equip it through donor support. And then the so this way we can provide the services for patients at a low cost. And then wherever we are able to generate from the revenues from services is what we use to take care of our operations expenses. Turning his compassion into action has helped straighten complex cares of many lives. He gets his patients fully booked before he arrives in town and is able to complete all surgeries before he returns to the States. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of qualified orthopedic surgeons in Ghana per se. Only 15, 17 orthopedic surgeons for 20 million, so we don't anticipate to have full-time orthopedic surgeons here. So I have relied extensively on foreign volunteers who are here with me doing 40 or 50 operations with the local Ghanaian residents. The hospital is presented by several cases of deformities of the bone, but thanks to the generosity of focused multinational volunteers who have helped many to have functional and virtually pain-free life. I have already done uh, six trips and for me have, has been great experience because here uh, you see how we can help many patients in a very difficult environment he has been capable of, of do this hospital. Okay, she's from Sierra Leone, and she had a very, uh, she probably had polio when she was young, and it affected her spine, so she had a very severe curve in her back. And Yantu is also from Ethiopia. So these patients, you know, they have six hour surgeries, you know, a huge scar from top to bottom, you know, very severe curves that are corrected, and they're up, they can go home. It's his reputation that's really the magnet for many of the international patients and for getting our team members here because of his position with the various medical societies in the U.S. Um, he's able to attract the very highest caliber of surgeons to come and assist him and work with him here. His dream of bringing excellent surgical care to his homeland of Ghana in Africa has become a true reality. But what is his plan for the future? When I'm here every two months, we have a full capacity. Right now we have no beds. You know, so we would like to expand our ward uh, capacity and build more operating theaters. Uh, but to do that means you need more workers. It has to go hand in hand. So we want to make this place sustainable, financial solvent, and be able to develop capacity for future uh, generations.